Hello, I hope you're having a great week. Here today we're going to reveal something that 95% of drivers completely ignore about engine oil. After testing six of the most popular oil brands over 200,000 miles in real-world conditions, only one oil came out looking like it could protect an engine for another 200,000 miles. The others turned into sludge, failed basic tests, and one brand that everyone trusts actually produced the highest engine wear in the entire test. Stay until the end, because what I'm about to show you will completely change how you choose oil for your car. Let me explain this simply. Most oil tests you see online last maybe 15 minutes on a test bench. This test was completely different. We used the same 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine and ran it through six complete cycles of approximately 33,000 miles each. We tested Mobile One Extended Performance, Valvoline Advanced Full Synthetic, Pennzoil Ultra Platinum, Castrol Edge, Amsoil Signature Series, and Liqui Moly. Each oil was used for its full recommended interval without any early changes, just like most drivers actually do in real life. Every 5,000 miles, we sent samples to Blackstone Labs for analysis, and after each cycle, we completely tore down the engine to inspect everything. From my experience working with engines, I can tell you that this kind of long-term testing shows you the truth that short tests simply cannot reveal. Now here's something most people don't realize. Oil matters even more after your car hits 50,000 miles. Once an engine gets past that point, the piston rings start losing tension, blow-by increases and oil gets contaminated much faster. Heat exposure makes the oil thicker over time. Fuel dilution becomes a bigger problem, especially in modern direct injection engines, and timing chains start to stretch. This is exactly why two cars with the same mileage can end up in completely different conditions. It all depends on which oil they used. A retired Toyota engineer who helped us evaluate the results said something I'll never forget. By 150,000 miles, the oil brand doesn't just matter. It actually decides the engine's fate. Let's talk about cold starts first, because this is where 70% of engine wear happens according to automotive research. When you start your car on a cold morning, the oil needs to flow immediately and create a protective film on all the metal parts. The best performers in cold conditions were Amsoil Signature Series and Liqui Moly. Both maintained a strong protective film and showed very low wear metals in testing. In the middle, we had Valvoline Advanced and Pennzoil Ultra Platinum. They performed well but showed minor early wear. Now here's where it gets surprising. Castrol Edge and Mobile One Extended Performance were the worst performers in cold starts. Castrol had its protective film collapse at just 32 degrees Fahrenheit, and Mobile One showed higher iron wear during cold starts than anyone expected. I know what you're thinking right now. Wait, how did Mobile One end up at the bottom but keep watching because it gets even more interesting? Driver, this mistake of choosing oil based only on brand name. Everyone makes it at least once. Now let's move to the high temperature test where we push these oils to their absolute limits. We're talking about temperatures between 230 and 260 degrees Fahrenheit. This simulates hot summer days, highway driving at 80 miles per hour or more, towing heavy loads, mountain driving, and even just daily driving in a slightly worn engine. High temperatures destroy weak synthetic oils by breaking down their viscosity, causing them to thin out, oxidize, and form varnish deposits. Here's how they performed. Amsoil Signature lost only 2% of its viscosity after 33,000 miles, and Liqui Moly lost only 3% with absolutely no varnish formation. Valvoline Advanced and Pennzoil Ultra Platinum were good but not elite. Pennzoil's special base oil stayed extremely clean, but the additives struggled a bit at high temperatures. The worst performers were Castrol Edge and Mobile One Extended Performance. Both showed significant oxidation after just 15 to 20,000 miles. Mobile One even formed light varnish around the piston oil control rings, which is not what you want to see. From my experience, when oil starts forming varnish, it's a sign that the chemistry just isn't holding up under stress. Now this next part really opened my eyes. We carefully examined every internal component for sludge, varnish, and deposits. We looked at valve covers, timing chain areas, oil control rings, crankcase walls, camshafts, and turbo feed lines. Liqui Moly was absolutely spotless. I mean, the engine looked brand new inside. 
Amsoil was nearly perfect with almost no deposits anywhere. Penzoil Ultra was very clean thanks to its special gas to liquid technology. Valvoline showed light amber colored varnish in some areas. Mobile One had moderate varnish buildup which surprised a lot of people. But Castrol Edge was by far the worst with serious sludge formation. The oil thickened significantly and created sticky varnish around the camshaft. One mechanic on our team said Mobile One is like Coca-Cola. Everyone buys it because they know the name, but it's not always the best choice. After 200,000 miles of real-world driving through all six oil cycles, we completely disassembled the engine piece by piece. We pulled out the cylinder head, pistons, rings, camshafts, bearings, valve cover, oil pump, timing components, and turbo feed line. Let me explain what we found. The timing chain wear told a huge story. Engines that used Amsoil and Liqui Moly showed almost no measurable stretch. The chain guides had only light polish with zero gouging. But engines that used Mobile One and Castrol had noticeable chain elongation, and the guides showed darker burn marks. These are early signs of oil breakdown under heat and stress. The piston rings revealed even more. Liqui Moly had the cleanest rings with the least carbon buildup, best mobility, and cleanest oil control grooves. Castrol Edge was the worst. The oil control ring was sticky with carbon deposits blocking the drain back holes. This is what happens when the protective oil film collapses and combines with oxidation. But here's the part that shocked even the professional engineer, the camshaft lobes. Amsoil and Liqui Moly showed no discoloration at all. The mirror finish surface was completely intact like a brand new engine. Mobile One had light scoring on two lobes and oxidation staining where the oil film broke down. Castrol had rough edges, visible varnish, and dark amber deposits all over the camshaft. The engineer literally shook his head and told us, this is what happens when marketing hype outshines real chemistry. The turbo feed line test was equally revealing. This is where bad oil gets exposed instantly. Pennzoil Ultra Platinum and Amsoil Signature were both crystal clear thanks to their advanced chemistry. But Castrol showed visible restriction of about 15 to 20% due to deposits, and that's enough to destroy a turbo in real-world conditions. So here are the final rankings from worst to best, based on everything we tested. Number 6 is Castrol Edge with the highest wear metals, highest oxidation, worst deposits and poor turbo cleanliness. The verdict, good marketing but poor real-world performance, it's fine for short oil change intervals, but not for long-term engine life. Number five is Mobile One extended performance with higher wear than expected, varnish on camshaft lobes, and faster viscosity loss. The verdict, it's a decent oil and easy to find, but definitely not the gold standard that people claim it to be. Number four is Valvoline Advanced Full Synthetic. It offers good balance and decent cleanliness for normal intervals, but the oxidation control isn't top tier. The Verdict, a solid daily driver oil, but nothing exceptional. Number three is Pennzoil Ultra Platinum with amazing cleanliness, strong detergents, and it's great for turbo engines. However, the oxidation resistance is weaker during long idle times, and it has lower zinc content. The Verdict, extremely clean oil that's perfect for modern turbocharged engines. Number two is Amsoil Signature Series with the best high temperature stability, top tier wear protection, and almost zero sludge formation. It's best for long drain intervals, but comes at a premium price and can be harder to find. The Verdict, a powerhouse oil engineered for extreme heat, longevity, towing, and turbo abuse. And the number one winner is Liqui Moly with the cleanest internal components, lowest wear metals, no varnish, no sludge, highest film strength, and best turbo bearing protection. It delivered amazing performance in both cold and hot conditions, showed the lowest timing chain wear, and had the lowest piston ring deposits. When the teardown was complete, the engineer literally said this engine looks like it has 40,000 miles on it, not 200,000. Liqui Moly wasn't just good, it was operating in a completely different league from everything else. This is the unexpected winner that almost nobody predicted before the test. So why did Liqui Moly and Amsoil dominate this test so completely? First, they both use the highest quality base oils called Group 4 and 5 synthetics. These are PAO synthetic oils and ester-based oils, 
the same type used in aerospace applications and professional motorsports. Second, the additive chemistry is superior. Lake Moly uses molybdenum disulfide, which bonds directly to metal surfaces. Amsoil uses high concentrations of molybdenum plus boron, working together to create an oil film that stays intact under extreme pressure. Third, they have exceptional high temperature stability. These oils barely oxidize even at 240 to 260 degrees Fahrenheit, temperatures where cheaper synthetics break down almost instantly. Fourth, their anti-wear zinc content outperforms the minimum standards without damaging catalytic converters. And fifth, they have low volatility, which means less burn-off, and that equals fewer deposits, cleaner rings, and cleaner pistons. I'll explain this to you simply. Most drivers choose their oil based on brand recognition, price, marketing claims, or just convenience. But engines don't care about branding or advertising, they only care about chemistry. If you want your engine to last a long time, here's what really matters. Pick an oil with strong base oils, preferably PIO or ester-based if you can afford it. Choose one with a robust anti-wear package that will protect your metal components. Change your oil every 5,000 to 7,500 miles, especially if you have a modern direct injection engine. Use high-quality oil filters like Wix XP, Fram Ultra, or Man Filter. Avoid those cheap oils you find at convenience stores. And don't extend your oil change intervals unless you're using premium oils like Amsoil or Liquimoly. From my experience working with engines over the years, I think the best choice depends on your specific situation. If you want the absolute best overall protection and longest engine life, go with Liquimoly. If you do extended intervals, heavy towing or extreme conditions, choose Amsoil Signature Series. If you have a modern turbocharged direct injection engine and want maximum cleanliness, Pennzoil Ultra Platinum is excellent. And if you're on a budget but still want decent protection, Valvoline Advanced is your best choice. But here's what you should avoid for long-term high heat applications. Stay away from Castrol Edge and Mobile One. This test proves something that most drivers never even consider. Oil isn't just routine maintenance. It's actually a life support system for your engine. Two bottles of oil that look identical sitting on the shelf can produce wildly different results once they're inside your engine. So if you want your engine to reach 200,000, 300,000, or even 400,000 miles, you need to choose smart. Choose based on chemistry and real-world testing, not marketing and commercials. Choose the oil that actually survived this brutal test, not the one with the best advertising budget. If you liked this video and learned something new today, Feel free to leave a comment telling me which oil you're currently using in your car, and are you planning to switch after seeing these results?